Hey everybody, it's your boy Jaminator. Welcome back to another Pokemon card video. If you haven't been here before, I like to show off Pokemon cards, do pack openings and bits of pieces of Pokemon collections on this channel. Today I'm going to be showing off a standard format deck that I use. I've been going to a few tournaments with this since Paldea Evolve came out and I've been getting first place every week um, playing this deck. This is Cham Power EX and Max Caliber deck. And this is how I run it. It's a very simple list. It's more focused on consistency than having more so tech cards and things to cover all the matchups. And I'm just gonna run through the deck list today and explain maybe some of my choices. And I'd really encourage you guys to get out and play this deck if you haven't. It's really fun to play. This is the first deck I've played in probably a year where I've enjoyed so much even games you don't have to win you don't have to win the games to have fun but I just have fun pl playing this deck it's, it's really enjoyable so we'll start with the Pokemon line now I've got three copies of Baxcalibur this is the one that has the ability lets you put as many water energies as you want from your hand to your Pokemon so we have three copies of those, and I've put three copies of the 60 HP Frigibacks. Now you might be wondering, why didn't I pick the 70 HP one? It's because of the one retreat cost. So in case you start the game, you've got a Frigibax in the active, and you want to get it into a Cham Power, start searching for energies. You can just put this one in water attachment, and you can retreat this straight away. So very simple deck list with the Pokemon so far. I've also got three copies of Xian Power EX. And these are our main attackers. But also we only need three of these in the deck because we do have some recovery options. So that's the bread and butter of the deck. Then we come into the tech cards and the support cards. So we also have one one Palkia V and V star. Sometimes we actually can attack with this. It's really good in those matchups and you can knock out a Pokemon V and you have too much health for them to return KO and also for the star portal ability here. Very good if you can get it set up on your second turn or third turn or so and you can charge up a Radiant Greninja and take down some bench Pokemon. So I'll put that down here. That's a one of each. And see if this glare goes off. Is that better? A bit, bit easier. And then we have one copy, Radiant Greninja. We use this to draw cards early in the game. <clears throat> and we also use this to attack. The interesting thing about the uh, Bax's Calibre, you can also use it to attack. It has a decent amount of HP, and in the single prize matchups, like against Lost Box, you can stick it in the active, knock out a single prize Pokemon. And they actually, they can't return KO it without putting down a two-prizer. So it's pretty good. Now, other support Pokemon, we have a Laminion V. Laminius Sign ability lets you search for a, a supporter card, but also you can attack with this, knock out a single prize Pokemon, shuffle this and the energies back in the deck. Then we have one copy of Manaphy with Bench Barrier. Protects all your Frigid backs on the bench from being knocked out before they can evolve. And we have a 1 1 Bidoof Bibarel. There is only a single evolution line of this in the deck because we will not be using this every single matchup. You don't always need this. It's just there just in case you're up against some tricky matchups that run Path to the Peak, for example, or stuff that have heaps of disruption. And then finally, for Pokemon, we have. One copy of Squawkabilly EX. Now this is another Pokemon, you're not gonna use this every single matchup, um, but if you have a really awful opening hand, you've got no energies to use your Radiant Greninja to draw, or you've got no battle VIP passes, or you've set the bench up, but you've got no supporters for your next turn, there's a Squawkabilly EX, so you can nest ball this out, or battle VIP pass this out, and get a brand new hand on your first turn. So really useful in those games where you've got dead hands 
that you would otherwise lose those games. Then we've got 10 copies of Water Energy. The high energy count in this deck is okay because we can actually search the energies out and start thinning the deck quite early with our Chan Power EX. So I'll put those here. There are our energy cards, it's 10. Now supporter count, we have 10 supporter cards. With every water deck, you want to be running four Irritors. It's very important that there is the maximum amount of Irritors you can get in this deck because you'll be wanting these almost every single turn. We also have three Ionos. There was four, but I cut down to three just for consistency. You can use these early game to get fresh hands as well. And then we've also got three Bosses Orders. You might be thinking that's a that's a really high count of boss's orders, but with the amount of discard in this deck with Ultra Balls and the Super Energy Retrievals, it's good to have a high count of a few things so you can discard them. Moving on, we have our item cards. We've got four battle VIP passes. So this is for Pokemon searching. You're gonna need all four copies of these. You wanna try and get at least one on your first turn. And if you don't, that's that's not too bad as long as you can try and get your bench set up in other ways. So we've also got two copies of Nest Ball if you whiff the VIPs. Four copies of Ultra Ball. And the reason why we run so many Ultra Balls is this is a deck that relies on evolution Pokemon. And Ultra Ball is the most consistent way of getting out those Max Calibers I'll put those down here as well. They're our ball search options for Pokemon. And then next we have four super energy retrievals. These will help us get out the energy cards from the discard pile. <coughs> There's also four of these because we may end up having to use one early game to recycle an energy that we use for retreating or recycle an energy that we Radiant Greninja away so we can have another one in our hand so we can attack or retreat or Radiant Greninja. We also have three copies of Rare Candy. You need a higher count of Rare Candy because if you do discard this, there is no way of getting it back into your deck. You may end up having to use one or two Rare Candies in a game to evolve, so it's very important that we have enough in case some are prized or some are discarded. Then we have a couple of little tech card items. We have an escape rope. This is used for switching. If we have something big in the active we want to get rid of. Super Rod for recovery at Pokemon. But you can also use this when you've got no energy retrievals and then you have a Baxcalibur in the active. You can shuffle water energies back in the deck and then use Baxcalibur uh, Champow's Shivery Chill. Search them straight out, put them back in your hand. So it's almost like another super energy retrieval. And one copy of Lost Vacuum. This has come in clutch in many games. You might be really weak to Path to the Peak in this deck, but if, as long as you have an Irida and you have one of these in your deck, you can search this out, get rid of that Path to the Peak, and start using your abilities again. So one copy of Lost Vacuum three stadium cards. So the first one I put in is Skaters Park. When you retreat, this one lets you put water energies back into your hand instead of the discard pile. If you have Baxcalibur set up, basically think of this as just free retreat cost on all of your Pokemon. Very good stadium card to have, but just a one of in this deck because the other two are a little bit more important for me. Two copies of Lost City. So this card lets, uh, when every Pokemon gets knocked out, while this is active, they go to the Lost Zone. It might sound like you're helping your opponent. If you're playing against Lost Box and you're putting cards from their deck in the Lost Zone, you're putting the Lost Zone counter up. But if you can Lost Zone something they don't want Lost Zoned, like the Dragonite V, 
a Manaphy, especially Manaphy. If you can get a Manaphy in the Lost Zone, they can't recover it. And then you can set up your Radiant Greninja to take two prizes on those pesky little Comfy's Sableyes next turn and get two prize knockouts against a single prize deck. So that is the Chen Pao EX deck profile. At the moment, this is how I'll be playing it. When the new Obsidian Flame set comes out, I will be testing out a few new things. I might add one more rare candy and then get rid of some of these and try using the Pidgeot EX as well as the Pidgey from Pokemon 151. The Pidgeot EX has an ability similar to Arceus V-Star, so every turn you can just search your deck for any card you want, but only once. And then the Pidgey has a decent attack, it's Call for Family, so you, you can use it on your second turn for one water energy and just fill your bench up if you didn't get all your bench filled up with VIP passes, etc. So I'll try that out, but if you want to test out the Chan Power Backscalibur deck, I'd recommend running this list. It's super consistent. It doesn't have a lot of tech cards for the confusion. It's super easy to play and it's really fun. So check it out guys. And as always, if you like these videos, leave a like, thumbs up, subscribe down here or leave a comment and let me know how your Pokemon card collecting or playing is going. Love to hear back from you. See you later guys. See you in the next one.